Well, hi, I'm Sleecy, and welcome to a 1.18 SMP. Uh, I'm doing this with some of my friends. Uh, I've lost track of who's playing on the server, but 1.18's been out for about two, three weeks now, and I've been doing a lot of work here and there, but not in a way that's easy to make a video. So I've just thought, you know what? Oh, hello. Anyway. Yeah, not in a way it's been easy to make a video, so I thought I'd just show you what I've done and go from there. So at the start of that clip it had my uh, starting tent area where I spent a few hours, but then I moved over to this area here. And I'm currently working on a sort of autumn viking area. I just think it's really cool. I've got this nice wheat field I'm working on, I've got some uh, viking style buildings and... I went through a lot of different designs on how I want my houses to look and I found that the best way of giving a building personality is the roof. So why not just go for a style that has loads of roofs. I'm trying to stay away from them guys. But I've also been experimenting with some custom terraining. I'm kind of going for like a almost like a fallen leaf look. I'm not sure how well it's going yet, but we'll we'll figure it out. But what I want to do today is, I think I just kind of want to get some more of this area done. Because the terraforming is quite messy right now, it's like, uh, there's just open areas, and the path is just a single block type, and this is again, floating platforms, and I want to try and just get some of it to look more cohesive, and ignore you but yeah okay what i want to do first is try and figure out what i'm going to do with the river and try and ignore them guys because i've built this in a way where i built this in a way where it's too high to have a proper riverbed and also i'm using concrete powder and if i put concrete powder in the water it turns to concrete and it's going to look weird so i need to uh, there's lots of different things i need to sort of figure out but I'm going to start off here and we'll go from there, okay? Okay. There's so much for doing the river, but I've been doing something else a bit more interesting. I uh, got myself a potato farm, got myself some trees, got myself a new autumn area, and I'm just, I'm really enjoying this style to build in. But I've pretty much been doing exclusively building for the past too many hours, and yeah, I have absolutely nothing tools wise. Well, this is my armor currently, I have lost my shoes. Um, I'm just kind of wearing pants I stole from a dead corpse, as you do, but uh, something I did find while I was building this bit here is a hole that dropped into a cave which had excessive amounts of zombies and led over to here, which is a spawner. So there's like a spawner just beneath my area and I have plenty of ideas for what to do with this spawner. Unfortunately, it's a zombie spawner. I was hoping for it to be a skeleton or a spider one, but I will definitely take it. And I'm gonna try doing something... Uh, I, I don't think I'm gonna do anything especially interesting for the zombies farm. But like, it's so close, but I, obviously I don't want to have it like directly there. So I'm gonna have like the chamber for them to spawn in down there, and then I'm gonna have this bit here. Which will be like a the the actual killing area. 
but before I work on this, I need to work on this. So next step is to clear out the spawning space. Well, that took a lot less time than I expected. I guess I'm used to building these without having efficiency for, so <laughs> I really sped up the process. But now that I've got the room set up, I just need to actually connect it up to something. And I probably should have figured out where I wanted to connect up to. So let's head up top. So I'm going to have this room here. And I think I want to have like the killing chamber be on the right hand side and like storage be on the left hand side. But to do that, I'm going to have to clear out the space. That was a lot of time compressed down into about a minute of fast, but I've got myself a say and I've already found a mistake, I'll fix that soon, but I've got my little, uh, well not really little, but zombie area. So to give you a little bit of a tour, it's not finished yet, I still need some work done on it, but here's all the zombies inside who just having a great time inside this area. Uh, I don't know how much, I think I get about like 20 levels of experience from a full, was that a drowned? How, how did they drown? I'm not gonna question it. Over here I've got a little dungeony area, this is gonna be for some clerics once I get them and I also need to fix that. And then over here I'm gonna put the chests but I don't have the iron for that right now. Great hoppers and jazz. So again, that's going to be future me problem. Uh, one issue I had is that the zombie spawner is just down here, beneath that cobblestone. And I kind of forgot that spawners only work within 16 blocks. So this is actually too far away. So I can't AFK like here like i would plan to i'd have to go over here in afk which isn't that big of a deal like this corner's just in range but i definitely that was an oversight on my part and then up there i all i was planning on just lifting the hill up to cover the zombie tube like when they fly up to the water stream i was planning on just having the hill go up but it looked kind of stupid so instead i built an entire Viking house, and this is the biggest house I've built so far, even bigger than that one. Uh, and it probably needs some more detail, but at the same time, I don't care. <laughs> it's this took a while to build, and it's still not finished. Like, uh, time lapse doesn't show it, but the back isn't actually done yet. Like, because I'm gonna probably just lift the hill up to this area, but again. Future me problems. Ow. Oh, I broke my sh I broke my helmet on berries. Anyways, um, one more thing I want to do before the end of this episode is actually do some enchanting. Because if you look at my tools right now, it's not great. I have 87 durability on my sword, 55 on my shovel. But uh, to get, I don't really have enough diamonds to repair them. So I think the best option is for me to go to spawn. Put these pants on. I was still from a corpse. I got 15 diamonds to my name, which isn't enough to repair it fully. 
I probably could combine these together, fix them up. And I've got some spare tools around, like spare pickaxes, the axe and boots. Aquafinity book, that's not a tool. But I want to go ahead to spawn because I believe Kieran and Nicole are the members of the server set up a mending bookshop. So I'm going to go ahead over there. It's right next to my camp area you saw at the start of the video. So over here is actually my tent area. I never, I only briefly showed this, but oh god, berries. Yeah, over here, I, this is where my starter home was. The little uh, purple tent with some cows, field, little well. And then over here, I had my storage tent, which is just like an archaeology style tent. And I absolutely love these, and I definitely want to do more with this area at some point. Also got a gazebo here, which I quite like. And then a little sheep uh, farm. But, oh, zombie, I mean, uh, Montgomery, I think is what I call this guy. Uh, yeah, over, just over this hill here is what we call the Meadow Nut. Yeah, here's the Meadow Nut. It's a, it's, this area, is, there's no exits. It's just, this is the area as a whole. It's really cool. Red distance barely reaches the other side. But that house down there, yeah, that house is currently being covered by a horse. Yeah, that house down there, I believe, is a mending shop. And uh, this is probably not a good idea to bring Montgomery down here, because I don't know how I'm going to get him out of here. But that's, a f again, a future me problem. Ugh. I've really got a vendetta against future me. Okay, over here we've got... I think right now we've got three shops on the server. We've got the mending shop. We've got this, which is like a little farmer's market. I believe the stock rotates out. It's just random. Yes, here we have the bookshop. So, payment there. Where's the stock? <laughs> it's, just, yeah, it's just hiding. Okay, four diamonds per book. I currently have 15, so I can buy three books. One, two, three. Then you pay over here. Four, one, two, three, four, one. Okay, great. Um, don't know what tools I'm gonna put that on. Probably just my shovel, my pickaxe, and my axe. And I'll just use these diamonds to make a new sword. Finally, we've got phased uh, honey and bee shop. I actually already bought something here. I bought a beehive with uh, a bunch of bees in it. I've not done anything with them yet. Uh, <laughs> over, and I think that they think I'm gonna probably set my own shop at some point, but right now I'm easily the poorest person on the server. I have well, everyone's got full neverite. Uh, I'm currently working off of armor I stole from zombies, so yeah, it's a bit of a class divide on this server. Ah, home sweet home with all the holes. <laughs> Uh, incomplete terraining. Yeah, okay, I'm gonna build myself a, uh, probably an enchanting room here. Oh, yeah, one more thing. When I was building this, I had to go to the Never to go get some soul sand, and I had quite an interesting death. So I'm gonna leave you with the death while I build myself up the enchanting room. Okay. See you in a bit. And here it is, and we've got a visitor outside. Hello, Wandering Trader. Uh, what do you have? Coral, pumpkin. I don't think I need pumpkins. I think I've got enough of them. But, uh, yeah, so here is the, uh, the the enchanting room. It looks a lot bigger on the outside because the top and second floors are just facades. This is only a small enchanting area. Got a table, got myself some bookshelves, barrels to hold extra books and lapis. Got an anvil, grindstone, all that classic enchanting stuff, and yeah. So now I just need to get the experience to actually enchant with. But I think that's where I'm going to call this episode now. Uh, next episode I should have some more better tools, hopefully. I'll have to see, really. <laughs> this sword, I'm using a texture pack that shows uh, weapon damage, and <laughs> this isn't even, this is barely a dagger, never mind a sword. It's actually kind of cute, though. But, yeah, anyway, I'm going to leave the episode here. Uh, hopefully, I can get more, some more progress done next time. But it's been a while since I've recorded. 
get back into the swing of things. A lot of time went into this episode, and most of it was in time lapses. So, yeah, I hope you enjoyed, and I will see you next time. Bye.